Hi Maya, what are you up to these days? Hi. Nothing much. I was just revising topic that teacher taught us at school today. What did you study? Hi everyone. Welcome to our YouTube channel Ask Prep. In today's video, we are going to discuss about magnetic effects of electric current. Magnetic effect of electric current is one of the major effects of electric current in use, without the applications of which we cannot have motors in the existing world. A current carrying conductor creates a magnetic field around it, which can be comprehended by using magnetic lines of force or magnetic field lines. Magnetic field and field lines. Magnetic field is the region around a magnetic material or a moving electric charge within which the force of magnetism acts. A magnetic field is a vector field in the neighborhoods of a magnet, electric current, or changing electric field in which magnetic forces are observable. Magnetic lines of force is an imaginary line representing the direction of magnetic field such that the tangent at any point is the direction of the field vector at that point. Right Hand Thumb Rule Thumb and fingers, hold out your right hand. Point your thumb straight out, while curling your fingers into a fist. Thumb represents current, point your thumb in the direction the electric current is flowing through the wire. Fingers represent magnetic field, the way your fingers curl around your thumb shows the direction of the magnetic field around the wire. If the current is flowing upward in a straight wire, your thumb points upward, and your fingers wrap around in a counterclockwise direction. This indicates that the magnetic field encircles the wire in the same direction as your fingers. This rule is a helpful tool to visualize how current creates a magnetic field and is widely used in physics and engineering. Circular Loop the intensity of the magnetic field is maximum at the center of the loop and decreases upon moving away from it. The magnetic field intensity decreases with an increase in the radius of the circular loop. The magnetic field intensity increases with an increase in electric current passed through the circular wire loop. Magnetic field due to a current in a solenoid. A solenoid is composed of a long wire wound into a series of loops or coils. The coils are typically wrapped tightly around a cylindrical core, which can be made of air or a magnetic material like iron. The more loops in the solenoid, the stronger the magnetic field it can generate. Direction of the magnetic field The magnetic field lines within a solenoid are parallel and uniformly spaced, indicating that the field is relatively uniform along its length. The direction of the field depends on the direction of the current flowing through the solenoid. To determine the direction of the magnetic field, you can use the right-hand rule for solenoids. If you curl your fingers in the direction of the current, your thumb will point toward the north pole of the magnetic field. Strength of the magnetic field The magnetic field strength within a solenoid depends on several factors, including Number of turns, more turns in the solenoid increase the field strength. Current, higher current results in a stronger magnetic field. Core material, a solenoid with a ferromagnetic core, such as iron, will have a much stronger field compared to an air core, due to the magnetic properties of the material. Applications of solenoids Electric motors and generators the interaction between the magnetic field in a solenoid and current flow is a key principle in electric motors and generators. Magnetic sensors Solenoids can be used in magnetic sensors and switches to detect or control magnetic fields. Medical imaging In medical applications like magnetic resonance imaging MRI, solenoids are used to generate the strong magnetic fields required for imaging. Wow Maya! Solenoid has such magnificent properties. Yeah, it is a scientific pearl. Domestic electric circuits. In our homes, we receive supply of electric power through a main supply, also called mains, either supported through overhead electric poles or be underground cables. One of the wires in this supply, usually with red insulation cover, is called live wire or positive. 
Another wire with black insulation is called neutral wire or negative. In our country, the potential difference between the two is 220 V. At the meter board in the house, these wires pass into an electricity meter through a main fuse. Through the main switch they are connected to the line wires in the house. These wires supply electricity to separate circuits within the house. Often, two separate circuits are used, one of 15 a current rating for appliances with higher power ratings such as geysers, air coolers, etc. The other circuit is of 5 a current rating for bulbs, fans, etc. The earth wire, which has insulation of green color, is usually connected to a metal plate deep in the earth near the house. This is used as a safety measure, especially for those appliances that have a metallic body, for example, electric press, toaster, table fan, refrigerator, etc. The metallic body is connected to the earth wire, which provides a low-resistance conducting path for the current. Thus, it ensures that any leakage of current to the metallic body of the appliance keeps its potential to that of the earth, and the user may not get a severe electric shock. A fuse in a circuit prevents damage to the appliances and the circuit due to overloading. Overloading can occur when the live wire and the neutral wire come into direct contact. This occurs when the insulation of wires is damaged or there is a fault in the appliance. In such a situation, the current in the circuit abruptly increases. This is called short-circuiting. The use of an electric fuse prevents the electric circuit and the appliance from a possible damage by stopping the flow of unduly high electric current. The joule heating that takes place in the fuse melts it to break the electric circuit. Overloading can also occur due to an accidental hike in the supply voltage. Sometimes overloading is caused by connecting too many appliances to a single socket. Wow Maya, that was interesting. Yeah, my topic also got revised. Alright, see ya then. Bye. Thanks for joining us today. We'll continue making these knowledgeable videos for you in future. Until then, stay curious, stay informed, and stay 